Hi, everybody. Oh my gosh, I am so excited to be drawing again. I have not drawn in two months, M more like a month and a half ish, but I'm just gonna say two months. And there are a few reasons why. The main reason is because my boyfriend broke his foot playing pickleball with me. So I've just been spending a lot of time with him, especially in the first few weeks when his foot was broken. Then I ended up going on vacation, went to LA for a concert, went to Las Vegas. And it's the middle of the semester, like right after midterm. So the workload was ramping up, but thankfully things have calmed down now. So I'm super excited to be drawing again. So I have like a basic oil pastel drawing going here, just laying down the base colors. I have about 19 pages left in my sketchbook, so I'm probably going to be posting a sketchbook tour, 2024 sketchbook tour by the end of December, probably, or sometime in December. I think I can knock out some of these pages, hopefully, and actually finish it. But yeah, and as you can see, I'm using a dark blue pastel here. Um, I don't have a black pastel anymore. I used it all. So that kit that I show you in the beginning, I feel like I say this every time I use this kit, but it's my favorite. It's a little bit pricey. So, you know, if you want to invest in that, I think you should. Um, I just got like, I think they have a smaller one that's only like 12 colors. I will say though, one of the downsides to that specific kit is that maybe like two or three of the colors are kind of chalky, but the rest are really easy to blend and the black one is one of the ones that are easy to blend so i had to pull out just a random dark blue oil pastel from some kit that i got from hobby lobby and honestly it doesn't really make that big of a difference i go in with color pastels in a little bit color pastels colored pencils <laughs> in a little bit and that kind of helped with adding back that sort of depth you know that you get from black so like i said i'm just trying to put down the base colors there's really no rhyme or reason to this. I think I was trying to do something by like having them, like the lines all go one way. That didn't really matter in the end because um, I just kept going over it. And this time around, I tried to use like a lighter hand when putting the colors down. Obviously it helped with layering and I liked it better than what I usually do, just laying a whole bunch of color down. So yeah, I know me being light-handed isn't really heard of, but I don't know. And I'm going with paint thinner. <laughs> Sorry, I had to wait for it to come up. I'm going with paint thinner and just two random flat brushes. Usually the kind that I try to blend with. This is how I'm blending it. Um, I usually just take the paint thinner and like pour a little bit into the cap and dip it from there, which you could do that. You could pour it in a separate cup. You could dip the brush right into the paint thinner. It kind of makes it a little dirty. Um, I have two paint thinners. I have this one that I use for my oil pastel, so if it does get dirty, I don't really care. And I have another one for, um, I don't really oil paint anymore, but if I were, I have it and it's clean. So that is my tip to you. And yeah, I'm just dipping it in, blending it out. And as you can see, I'm, tr as you can see, I've, I wonder how many times I say that. Anyway, from what you can see, um, I'm trying to do it again in one direction, but I end up doing multiple layers and it doesn't really matter in the end. But it is good to get down like that first, you know, layer of color. I think I just envisioned it a little different in my head, but honestly, it's probably one of the best parts of just art. So just deviating from, you know, whatever you had in your head and just letting your creative expression take control. Um, but at the same time, sometimes that does suck because like especially in times when you can't like translate what you have in your head onto paper and you have to start over and like you try to be creative and it just doesn't flow with you that's why um i know a lot of people don't well in my experience i've ran into a ton of people that are like don't don't trash your paintings don't throw them away don't restart it's like girl if i can't stand look at them i'm restarting but thankfully that was not the case here sometimes you just gotta trust the process
so far i've just been alternating between blending with the brush going back within more with in going back in with more pastels just trying to get those proportions right and as you can see now i am using colored pencil these are my derwent i think that's how you pronounce it derwent d-e-r-w-e-n-t derwent derwent <laughs> ink tense pencils they're the best because they're water soluble and they're super pigmented i think they come in a pack of like 12 they're really like thick wooden pencils they have never broken on me when i sharpen them and they're yeah they're super pigmented and in comparison to other watercolor pencils i've tried they're the best in my opinion so i'm just using those i'm using like a dark brown a dark blue an orange um just to kind of darken up you know right there where i didn't have a black pastel so darkening up the eye adding some lines just kind of scribbling away and yeah So now I'm just going to go in with my black acrylic ink, my favorite one, and I'm now realizing that this video is just full of my favorites, but um, yeah, if you've seen any of my previous videos, which if you haven't, you should, uh, my favorite way to use it, this acrylic ink, is just wet the paper first and then drop the ink right onto it. It creates this sort of like bleeding out effect, which I really love, and yeah, this is like a super cheap bottle from michael's and it dries super fast much like a bunch of other acrylic inks or like india inks even but i love this one and i know i didn't blend out the neck don't really know why just kind of didn't want to but 
And here I am just filling in the background. And while that dries, I will say it does take a minute to dry if it's like pulled up like that. But generally, if you have it on the page, it's going to dry pretty freaking fast. Um, anyway, while that dries, I'm just going back in with my pencils and adding more details. That pink pencil right there is General's brand uh, watercolor pencil. And it is the only like true pink colored pencil I have. So I love this colored pencil. I wish I had like a lighter pink, but I don't. So I always rely on that one. Now I'm just taking a regular uh, mechanical pencil. I um, got this one from Hobby Lobby and just again, adding more uh, where I see fit. So now focusing on this little area, just putting some more black ink. I'm gonna put some of this like tannish color, uh, watercolor ink, and then some of this hot pink fluid acrylic ink. I'm gonna dab it with a tissue, trying to blend it out. And then I'm gonna outline her hair with an orange oil pastel, sort of finish off the drawing with any last minute details. And y'all, here is the final sketchbook page. Thank you so much for watching. I missed you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, follow me on here, on TikTok, on Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.